In this video we're going to continue adding or subtracting from both sides and then multiplying or dividing both sides. We'll do uh, this page two with, with these two examples uh, and uh, with fractions in them. So please write down the first example. One quarter plus seven over two times x equals three eighths. One quarter plus seven over two times x equals three eighths. Okay. So the first step is so if you've got it written down, we've got to think what's being done to x, okay? So what's being done to x? x is being multiplied by 7 over 2. That's the first thing. And then a quarter is being added on, okay? So to undo that, to get x by itself, we must first go, go in the opposite direction. So we um, undo the adding a quarter and then we deal with the coefficient of x, okay? So the first thing is to subtract one quarter, okay? A quarter minus a quarter is zero, right? And, and so the reason we're subtracting a quarter is because we'll, this will just cancel out. That'll make zero. And if I subtract a quarter from that side of the Wayne scales, this side of the equation, I must also do what? I must also subtract a quarter from this side of the Wayne scales as well, okay? And on the left hand side, you see, we'll get, see a quarter minus a quarter is zero. So on the left hand side, we get seven over two x, seven over two times x. On the right hand side, it's three eighths minus a quarter, right? So we've got to subtract the fractions, but we've got to find lowest terms. So what is the lowest common multiple of eight and four? Press pause on the video and, and do this one yourself. Press pause on the video, do it yourself, and then I'll do it. So 4 times what gives 8, really, is all, all you need to think of. 4 times what gives 8? 4 times 2. And um, you've got to multiply this guy by 2 over 2, right? So this becomes um, negative, and one times two is two. So it's a it's a negative, and one times two is two, and four times two is eight. So it's a negative two eighths. Okay. So we have three eighths minus two eighths. What is three eighths minus two eighths? Three eighths minus two eighths. 1 8 right now 7 over 2 X equals 1 8 how do we get X by itself so X is indeed being multiplied by 7 over 2 and some students do like to divide both sides by 7 over 2 and I guess that's fine but um, I think it's also nice and handy if you remember to just multiply by the reciprocal. Remember that? So another way to do it is to think, look, I want to get, I don't want 7 over 2x, I want 1x. If I get 1x equals something, then I have the answer. Right. So I want to turn the 7 over 2 into a 1. So you can multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Right. What's the reciprocal of 7 over 2? 7 over 2 upside down makes what? 7 over 2 turned upside down is 2 sevenths, right? Now if you multiply, the, the reason you multiply by 2 sevenths is because you get, well 7 times 2 is 14, right? And 7 times 2 on the bottom is 14. So you get 14 over 14x. And 14 over 14 is what? Well, that's 1. So you do get 1x, right? But you could also think of it this way. 2 into 2 goes once here and here. 7 into 7 goes once here and here. And that leaves me with 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, 1x, okay? Now, if you multiply the left-hand side by 2 7 you must also do what to the right? You gotta also multiply that by two sevenths. Okay? 
Okay. And this will indeed give you 1 times 2 is 2 over 8 times 7 is what? What's 8 times 7? 2 over 56. But it, there's an easier way to multiply fractions. The first thing you can do is cross cancel. Okay, so if we cross cancel common factors, common multiples, then it'll all work out. 2 into 2 goes 1 time, 2 into 8 goes 4 times. So we have 1 times 1 is 1 over 4 times 7, 28. So we have 1x equals 1 over 28, or x equals 1 over 28, same thing, right? Okay, and um, I'm just going to check this really quick just to show you that you can do it. But if you were to check something like this, 128th you would just write out the original equation which is 1 quarter plus 7 over 2 times x equals 3 eighths and we got 1 over 28 right so that would give us 1 quarter plus and um, when I multiply these I can cross cancel actually 7 into 7 goes 1 7 into that goes 4 times see that so 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 4 is 8. And if I add these fractions, I've got to get lowest terms. So I've got to multiply that by 2 over 2. So this does indeed give 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8 equals 3 eighths. And 2 eighths plus 1 eighth is 3 eighths. And so we have the answer, right? So 1 twen over 28 does work. So if you actually want to check one of these, that's how you do it. You just same thing, just plug in the answer for x, and then you've got some work with fractions, but it's your work out. Please write this one down. 1 fifth plus 1 tenth x equals negative 2 over 15. 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 x equals negative 2 over 15. Write it down, press pause on the video, and do the whole thing yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and, and try it. I'm going to go over it now. And please do try this yourself because I don't want you stuck on the homework. I want you to try If you're going to get stuck, the best thing is get stuck on the video and then you can watch the video and see where you went wrong. So x is being multiplied by a tenth and then a fifth is being added on. So we're going to subtract a fifth to begin with from both sides. Actually, I need more space here. Do, 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 do. So we're going to subtract a fifth from both sides and that's good because a fifth minus a fifth is zero Okay, and on the left we have one tenth x equals and on the right we're going two, negative two fifteenths minus one fifth so subtracting fractions we've got to get a lowest common denominator 5 times what gives 15? 5 times what gives 15? 5 times 3. Okay. Now if I multiply the bottom by 3, must multiply the top by 3. So this gives negative 3 fifteenths. So I actually have negative 2 fifteenths minus 3 fifteenths. So in debt by 2 and then I subtract 3 I'm in debt by what? Okay. Or you could think um, this is the same thing as negative two fifteenths plus negative three fifteenths. Okay, a negative two plus a negative three is basically what you're thinking. So what's a negative two plus a negative three? Two neg two bad guys and three bad guys. Negative five. Five bad guys, right? Negative five fifteenths. Okay? And, in fact, we could have put that in lowest terms as well, right? So, why don't we do that? Put 5 fifteenths in lowest terms. 5 and 5 goes how many times? 1 time, 5 and 15? 3 times. So, that would give you 1 tenth x equals negative 1 third. Now, um, you might have, it might have got stuck here, maybe. Uh, see if you can, can you, can you think about what to do from here on? 
x is being multiplied by a tenth. So you can divide both sides by a tenth if you want, but I think it's a little neater to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, right? So to undo multiplying by a tenth, we can multiply by the reciprocal, and that will give us a nice 1x. Okay? So to turn 1 tenth into 1, we multiply by the reciprocal, which is this fraction flipped upside down. What's the reciprocal of 1 tenth? Well, it's just 10 over 1, right? And you've got to multiply this side also by 10 over 1. Okay? So you've got to multiply both sides by 10 over 1. So on the left, we get 10 times 1 is 10 over 10, 1 times 10 is 10. 10 over 10x, which is 1x. Right? And on the right hand side, we get negative times positive, negative. 1 times 10 is 10. And 3 times 1 is 3. So x equals negative 10 thirds. Right? And if you were checking that, you would plug it into the original equation. I'm just going to check it real quick just to show you how it's how you would do it. It's 1 fifth plus 1 tenth times x equals negative 2 fifteenths. And we found our answer to be negative 10 thirds. So plug negative 10 thirds in for x. Okay, so if you do that, 10 to 10 goes once. These guys cross cancel. See that? So you have a fifth. Um, plus, and this is a, a positive times a negative, which is a negative, okay, 1 over 3 equals negative 2 fifteenths, right? And if I get like terms, or, or if I get lowest common denominator, for these guys, 3 times 5 gives 15, and 5 times 3 gives 15, see? So I times this one by 3 over 3, and this one by 5 over 5, and that gives me... 3 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths, which is indeed, what's 3 minus 5? 3 minus 5 is indeed negative 2, so negative 2 fifteenths, right?